Hi guys! Happy Vlogmas Day number 14! Wow, that's just crazy. I... This video is a little bit all over the place. I kind of lost track of, you know, what day of Vlogmas Day it is and just... Yeah. But, it, you'll get to see the kids having fun and just us enjoying life and, yeah, some other things too. So, happy Vlogmas Day number 14 and enjoy the video! I wanted to share something that I thought was a little bit funny. I was looking back at my Facebook memories today and one of the things that I had said in the past is, I don't like the snow, I don't like the cold, I'm moving to a warm place like Alabama. And now, I sit here in the Philippines and I'm melting. And I'm like, I want to go back to Indiana, I want to feel the cold, I want to wear sweatpants and a sweatshirt and sit by the fire and drink hot chocolate and go sledding and do all the winter stuff. So I guess that is proof that we are never fully content with where we are or what we're doing and um, that's an area of sin I need to work on. So definitely, especially this year, just praying for the Lord to help me to be content um, with with where I'm at and what I'm doing um, because we're definitely working with a lot less, you know, less energy, less time to ourselves because pandemic, the kids aren't going anywhere, um, less money because less funds are coming in, less time of seeing family. Guys, we did not see our extended family at all in person in 2020. That is the first time ever in my life that is that, that has ever happened. Um, I have no idea what Christmas cards are going to look like for my mom. Like, I don't know how she's going to do it because we didn't get together this year and have a Christmas card picture. And um, fortunately, I'm, I'm very thankful for my family back in the States that like my brother and my sister, well, my sister's still at home and my brother and his family, like they've been keeping a close bubble, but um, the fact that my parents, my sister are included in that bubble, I think that just means a lot to my parents and it is good for them. Cause guys, if you, I hope it doesn't take this experience for you to understand that. Um, but if you are ever called to be a missionary or if you're in the military and go to like basic training and you know, all the other stuff, you will come out of it extra, extra grateful for family because they just, family helps make times like these easier to handle um makes it a little less stressful you have you know those people to rely on you have those people that are really there for you and so our family is still very much there for us they've i there was one time when i called my mom and i was like hey look at this outfit like is this an okay outfit um does this work together and you know there's been times financially where our family has stepped up but there is just also something about having them right down the road and being able to um, just be there for each other. You know, like, especially as uh, grandparents get older, like, you know, the encouragement you can be to a grandparent as a grandchild. And um, if you don't have grandparents living, adopt an older person especially you know with the the covid situation take the time to write them a postcard a letter um have pen pals or or whatever it's just yeah community family it's all such a really big deal um especially now and so i'm reminded of that so but today has been a good relaxing day Thomas thoroughly enjoyed getting to talk to, to family 
and um, to do the effects and things. I won't sh share any of the posts on here because I don't want to embarrass them. Um. Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here um, as I'm processing some things. One, if you have a missionary overseas, and especially if you're their family, take the time to video chat with them. Please, please, please. Especially if they have kids. Um, that's going to make when they're when they come and visit, when their kids come and visit you, it's going to make the, it that less awkward because they will know your face, they will know your voice, and you'll have a, a relationship with them, even if it's been over video chat. So I, I would encourage you to do that, and I say that, like, Thomas is going through this phase where he absolutely loves, like, the effects and things that you can do through Facebook Messenger. And so you don't have to know what to say to a four-year-old. You don't have to carry on a conversation with them. You just play with the different things and laugh and smile and, and get to see his face and get to see him um, grow. And so if you're not one of our family members, like I would encourage you to reach out to your family and to have that connection, especially, you know, in this time of, pandemic and just not getting to see each other how we normally would it is so so important that you have that connection um however it may look like so i want to encourage you to stay connected stay connected with your nieces and nephews and cousins and um brothers and sisters and everybody just i, I know life gets busy and i know life gets crazy but five ten minutes you know once a week it makes a difference um, so that is my encouragement to you that is something I encourage you to to do and to make time for it's just as an aunt I haven't done it um, like I should with my nieces and nephews and they probably won't know who I am but it also has to be something that the family the family on the other end wants to as well so um, but yeah, Thomas has been so encouraged. He got to talk to my dad, so his grandpa. He got to talk to my mom, his grandma. And he got to talk to his uncle, Dan's brother, that we haven't talked to in forever. And they just did the little characters back and forth for a little bit. And it just, it was special to Thomas. And Dan was trying to explain to Thomas, you know, this is your uncle. And Dan's or Thomas is like no it's your brother <laughs> and so he hasn't fully made that connection um, but we want to be honest with you we want to we're not going to be in the Philippines forever and especially with Miss D coming into our lives as soon as we can work out the adoption things we would like to be in the States permanently possibly still doing something with Whitcliffe um, but with her needs and Thomas's needs and honestly, some, some of my needs, it would just be easier to be in the States. So that is something we are working towards for in the future. Um, but yes, and another thing is for those of you that have kids with special needs, um, one thing that I was reminded of today, it's just even that much harder to go and use the restroom for for the caregiver for the parent like um 
we don't want to just leave Misty in one chair all day long. You know, we want her to be able to go and sit on the couch with us. We want her to be able to go on the floor and play. Well, the floor is harder for her because she can't independently sit up without the support. So she doesn't always appreciate and like being on her stomach either. So it's constantly, you know, moving around and figuring out where she wants to be. Probably one of her happiest places is to sit in the corner of our couch. Yeah? She's over here right now. Um, but having her... I'm trying to find a toy for her. Having um, her in the corner of the couch, I have to remember, like, if I have to go use the restroom, I have to, have to you know, whatever away she also gets tired and then so she leans over or falls over she's still on the couch but then she wants help you know sitting back up and just you know it's 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 a constant so and a lot of mommy mommy so I'm gonna go see what she needs and we'll catch up later hey guys so our Sundays are all starting to look the same what am I kidding they've pretty much looked the same since March but this is what we're up to. <laughs> Sit and spin. Morning food. Popcorn. So, we're going to sit here, eat popcorn, watch TV, and all that stuff. So, this is our evening. So here we go. So I was asked to give you all some rain footage and you can see that it's raining quite hard here. Yeah, this is, you know, this would be considered a normal thing here. The tropics after all. You see the rain falling hard. You see the, the water droplet flashing by the camera there every once in a while. There's a little bush there, area where I hang up laundry. Yep, you can see that there. See the water running down that support column. The neighbor's got a little bit of a thing there with how the water's draining off of that. Us, not so much, fortunately. I need to get that looked into. But, yeah. Thomas likes the rain. Hey Thomas, do you like the rain? Do you like the rain? Okay. Yeah, there you go. There's another vehicle coming here. You'll see the rain here a little better again. Not, I don't know. But yeah, it's raining pretty good. Bye. There you have it guys. Happy Vlogmas Day number 14. I hope you enjoyed the video. Getting to hear from Dan, getting Thomas, getting to see Thomas have fun, getting to see a glimpse of Miss D, and just 
Yeah. What a, a Sunday looks like for us. One thing that I didn't video is in the evenings, um, I go ahead and watch a sermon on YouTube from one of our partnering churches and just relax with Misty up in the up in our room because she goes to bed um, pretty early. So, yeah. But happy Vlogmas Day number 14, and we'll see you later. Bye. Merry Christmas from Bar Family Teachers. We pray that this season is full of blessings for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.